Hello, Middle 3. Uh, in this video, we're covering the first grammar lesson you have in your OL books, which is the future tense. So, according to your book, we can express the future using four forms, which are future will, future going to, present continuous, or present simple. However, each one of them gives a different meaning. So let's discuss together what meaning does each and every one of them give. So let's start first comparing will and going to. If you notice here, both are used for future prediction. Future prediction and future prediction. However, will is used for future prediction without evidence. You have no clue or no proof that the action will happen. So I can say, I think it will rain tomorrow. Do you have evidence here? No, I think it will rain. That's why we use the verb think, expect, believe, be sure, hope, to express that we don't have evidence. On the other hand, as for going to, it's used for future prediction too, but with evidence. You have evidence, a clue, or a proof that the action is going to happen. For example, it's cloudy, it's going to rain. The future form here is, is going to rain. But where is the evidence? It's cloudy. So it's cloudy, so this is evidence for raining later. As for the second difference, we use will to express on the spot decisions. Decisions that are made on the spot. For example, I won't buy it, it's too expensive. Did I plan for this? No. I decided on the spot that I won't buy it. Here is the future form, won't buy. However, for going to, it's used to express future arrangements. Future plans. Arrangements means plans. For example, she is going to study astronomy. She planned for this. She has a plan to study astronomy in the future. That's why we use is going to study. For future arrangements, we can also use another form. What is it? Can you guess? Let's read this example. We are going on holiday next week. I've already bought the tickets. So, which form do we use here to express the future? Yes, it's the present continuous tense. So, to express future arrangements, you can either use the present continuous tense or you use going to. So, now we're done with going to. Let's continue dealing with will. Will is also used for promises. For example, I won't do that again. As if I want to say, I promise I won't do that again. The future form here is won't do. Won't means will not. Will can also be used for threats and warnings. For example, don't do this again or I'll punish you. So here I'm threatening. Where is the future form? Will punish. If you can deduce the form of each one of them, we'll find out that going to is used with am, is, or are, verb to be, plus going to, plus verb in the bare infinitive. However, concerning will, you use will or won't, won't means will not, plus the bare infinitive. So now we covered three forms, will, going to, and the present continuous. We're left with the last form, which is the present simple. Can we use the present simple to express the future? Yes, under one condition, which is a future event, which is going or following a timetable. It happens according to a schedule. For example, the train leaves at 9 p.m. Did it leave? No, not yet. But it follows a timetable. Not only this time, 
but for the following times, it leaves at 9 p.m. because it follows a schedule, a time table. Okay, so now we're done. Hope this was helpful. Thank you so much.